So is the IBM Data Analyst Professional Certificate a big brother in the Professional Data Analyst Certificate space? Let's find out. What's up guys, Wally here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the IBM Data Analyst Professional Certificate. I have been taking this program for over two months now and while I'm not done yet, I'll be sharing with you my first impressions and why it matters to review this certificate. Then we'll go over the course outline, talk a little bit about why it's taken me a longer time to complete this certificate and why it will probably take you longer as well. Then I'll share with you what I find interesting about the program and what I do not. Then we'll talk a little bit more about how to make the certificate a cost-effective endeavor because it's going to take you a while to finish if you choose to enroll. And my opinion on which category of people this certificate is suited for. And finally, should you consider it over other professional data analyst certifications like the Google Data Analyst Certificate or the Microsoft Data Analyst Certificate. So there are a lot of things to talk about today. I'll try to make this video as short as possible. Let's start with why it matters to review this certificate. When it comes to professional data analyst certification, having an industry recognized certificate such as the IBM, Google or Microsoft sort of provides a measure of authenticity to your technical skills. There is no denying that IBM is one of the big hitters within the tech data industry. So completing their certificate program will help you move from a beginner level to an intermediate level in a coordinated and structured manner. As of the time of making this video, over 350,000 people have enrolled for various portion of this certificate program. And so I decided to hop on to see what the program looks like. The program is split into nine course series. Course one is the introduction to data analytics. This course here introduces you to the concept of data analysis, the data ecosystem, and the role of a data analyst. Course two and three covers the basic working knowledge of using Excel spreadsheet for data analysis. The tool of use here is Microsoft Excel and IBM Cognos Analytics. In course three, you get to develop data visualization skills learn the process of telling a story with your data by creating different charts and then consolidating all the different charts into a dynamic dashboard. Course 4 through to course 8 focuses on Python for data science. Essentially, each course hereon introduces different subject areas of the application of Python in data science. So course 4, you start your learning of Python for data science as well as programming in general. Course five is where you take on a Python mini project for data science. Essentially, you apply the Python knowledge you've gained in the previous course into this mini project. In course six, you are introduced to SQL and how to access databases from Jupyter Notebooks using SQL and Python. Course seven is data analysis with Python using Python libraries such as Pandas, NumPy, SciPy to work with a simple data set. Course eight is data visualization with Python using data visualization libraries, namely Matplotlib, Seaborn. Finally, course nine is the main data analyst capstone project where you assume the role of a data analyst and solve real world business challenge using real data sets. So for the capstone project, which is where I am at right now, you will be performing exploratory data analysis, statistical analysis, and ultimately building a dashboard. So what do I like about this certificate? Well, I like how the program starts with a detailed explanation of the data ecosystem and the different roles that exist within the ecosystem. You know, I thought it, they did a great job in arousing interest in other niches as well, aside from data analysts. You know, especially regarding the differences between a data analyst, data engineer, and data scientist, you'll learn exactly what they all do within the data ecosystem and how their functions are all interconnected. I also like how the program took a deep dive into Python and went through all the different knowledge areas of Python, including areas such as building APIs, web scripting, you know, and etc. Finally, I love the lab projects and how each knowledge area was tied to a lab project. You know, I get asked many times for ideas around 
what projects to take on. But with this certificate, you don't have to worry about what type of projects to take on. The program has done all that work for you. All that is required from you is to add a touch of your personality into the lab projects or capstone projects. And then you have your own personal projects. So what did I find challenging? Uh, for the lab projects, you have to use the IBM Data Analyst Cloud Pack to complete you know, some of the tasks, meaning you'll be required to sign up for an IBM account, to use the different applications like IBM Cognos Analytics and Watson Studio Refinery. Quite frankly, I found it a bit difficult to adjust to the application as I was a bit reluctant to open an IBM account um, and use the IBM interface. However, I think they did a good job making the entire setting up process as smooth as possible. Another big challenge was the presentation style chosen for the certificate. It certainly could have been better. Aside from course one, where there were human elements present, the rest of the program was a bit flat with respect to human presence. Um, if you are like me that prefers to see a smiling face while learning, this can be a huge challenge. Finally, much of the program felt like a copy of the IBM Data Science Certificate. So if you have taken that certificate, then there's no use taking this certificate. So why would it take you longer to finish? There are 19 different lab exercises to take in the program. And if you really want to keep yourself honest, those lab exercises take quite a bit of time to complete. Although I do not expect you to spend 11 months to complete the entire certificate. However, it's good to know that it might take you between three to four months to really master the knowledge in this program. So patience is key. Now, if it's going to take you longer, does it mean that you'd have to pay 39 USD per month to keep having access to the program? Well, the answer here is no. And there are a couple of ways to benefit without having to pay the full amount for the duration of the program. So first is the guys at Coursera are generous to have a financial aid option for people that fall into that category. So if you think you fall into that category, please check that out first. Secondly, there's an option of auditing some of the courses without having to pay. So check out the courses that can be audited for free. And then when you are ready, you pay the 39 USD for the one that requires subscription. This is exclusive of the seven day free trial for full access to, you know, the, the program. Now, on top of all that, the guys at Coursera have generously offered a 25% discount for anyone that registers using the link in the description below within the next four weeks of dropping this video. So um, plenty of options to choose from to make it a cost effective endeavor. Now, who should take this certificate? Well, certainly a beginner to data analysis and someone who plans to transition into a data science role. About 50% of courses in this certificate are also present in the IBM data science certificate. So, you know, thereby making it extremely suitable for people who want to be data scientists. And also, if you want to learn Python for data science, this is a great foundational course to get a grasp of Python um, language. So is the IBM Data Analyst Certificate a big brother to other professional data analyst certificates? The answer to that is no. I think all of them have their place. The IBM Data Analyst Certificate certainly goes deeper into technical areas than the Google Data Analyst um, Certificates. So uh, making it suitable for data analysts whose end goal is to become a data scientist. While the Google Data Analyst Certificate is more beginner friendly with a fine balance between technical skills and soft skills. If you want to learn more or you're struggling to decide which one is suitable for you, there's this video by my friend Luke Barajos where he shares an in-depth review of the two certificate programs. I'll leave the link to his video in the description box below. All right, I hope you found real value here. As always, do smash the like button so this video can get to more people out there and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.